back to our channel Storm Rider. The 2026 BRP Tarlac LD601 Destroyer has quickly become one of the most talked about modern naval vessels in Southeast Asia. And in this video, we're diving deep into what makes it special. Now, before anything else, it's important to understand that the Tarlac class is traditionally known as a landing dock type of vessel, but the 2026 variant brings an entirely new identity, a hybrid destroyer dock platform with multi-role combat capabilities. That means this ship is no longer just about troop transport or logistics support. It now carries serious offensive and defensive power, making it one of the most versatile warships in the fleet. Let's start with the basics. The 2026 BRP Tarlac LD601 features a modern steel composite hull designed to reduce radar visibility and improve survivability in hostile waters. It uses stealth shaping with angled surfaces that help deflect radar waves, making the ship harder to detect while also improving fuel efficiency and stability. The size of the vessel gives it a strong ocean-going profile, able to handle long missions and rough sea conditions. Even though it's big, the design has been upgraded to increase maneuverability, thanks to an advanced propulsion system that includes twin diesel engines paired with integrated electric drive assistance. This combination gives the ship a higher top speed, better acceleration, and lower noise emissions, important for both military strategy and engine health. In terms of performance, this destroyer brings a balance of speed, range, and firepower can travel long distances without refueling, making it capable of independent missions far from home bases. The updated engine system also means smoother sailing, better fuel efficiency, and reduced vibrations, which makes life easier for the crew during extended operations. The ship is equipped with advanced navigation and tracking systems, including integrated radar, long-range air and surface sensors, and real-time communication links with aircraft and other naval units. For a modern military, information is as important as ammunition. And the Tarlac LD-601 is designed to gather and transmit data quickly, giving commanders a clear view of the battlefield. Now, what about weapons? This is where things get interesting. Unlike its previous versions, the 2026 Destroyer variant carries a full suite of offensive and defensive weapons. It includes a primary naval gun on the bow, capable of firing high-velocity rounds at enemy ships, aircraft, or even land targets. Alongside that, the ship features vertical launch missile cells, allowing it to fire surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. This gives the Tarlac the power to defend itself from incoming aircraft, drones, or enemy missiles, and also to strike targets at long range. For close-range protection, it includes several automated gun systems and CIWS, also known as close-in weapon systems. These are rapid-fire guns capable of shooting down missiles or fast boats rushing the ship. So from long-range attacks to point-blank defense, the vessel covers every angle. Helicopter capability is another major strength. The ship includes a reinforced flight deck and hangar space that can support large utility or combat helicopters. These aircraft can be used for troop transport, surveillance, anti-submarine operations, or medical evacuation. This makes the destroyer a floating base, not just a warship. It can operate aircraft, launch landing craft, and coordinate missions from sea to land. In humanitarian emergencies, this same ability allows it to deliver relief supplies, rescue personnel, or provide medical support. That's part of what makes the Tarlac LD-601 a multi-role platform, not only strong in conflict, but also useful in peacekeeping and disaster response. Moving to electronics and defense technology, the 2026 model is heavily upgraded with digital warfare capability. It has electronic countermeasures that can detect and jam enemy radar or communication signals. It can track multiple targets at once and share data with friendly ships, aircraft, or ground forces using secure encrypted communication. The bridge and control rooms are fully modernized with digital displays and automated systems that reduce crew workload. Speaking of crew, the ship is designed for comfort and long-term operations. Living quarters, command centers, and workspaces have been improved to reduce fatigue on long missions. And since the ship is large enough to carry landing vehicles, cargo, and troops, its internal storage is flexible and expandable depending on mission type. 
One unique selling point of the 2026 Destroyer is its modular mission system. Instead of being built for one job, the vessel can adapt to many roles by swapping equipment modules. If it needs to focus on anti-submarine warfare, it can load sonar systems and torpedo launchers. For humanitarian missions, it can load medical facilities, food storage, and supply transport modules. For amphibious operations, it carries landing craft and armored vehicles. This flexibility makes the ship valuable, even when not in active combat. Countries often spend huge amounts on warships that only perform one function. But the Tarlac LD-601 stands out because it can operate in war, humanitarian response, patrol missions, and territorial defense. Let's talk about technology for the crew. Modern warships rely on automation to reduce manpower requirements, and the 2026 Tarlac is no different. Many navigational and defensive systems can operate automatically or with minimal human control. Fire control computers calculate weapon trajectory, radar detects threats, and communication links transmit information without manual interference. This makes reaction time faster and reduces the chance of human error in critical moments. Safety systems have also been upgraded. Fire suppression, flood control, and blast protection make the ship more survivable, even if it takes damage. Another point worth highlighting is international collaboration. The development of the 2026 Tarlac Destroyer involved cooperation with foreign naval engineers and shipyards, bringing in advanced technology that wasn't possible in earlier models. This means better weapons integration, better electronics, and stronger build quality. Many of the ship's components are sourced from modern military suppliers, ensuring compatibility with allied forces. In real-world missions, this makes joint training and joint defense easier. From a viewer's perspective, the Tarlac LD-601 stands out because it's big, powerful, and versatile. It looks like a destroyer, but it also behaves like a transport ship and command center. It can fight, defend, land troops, carry aircraft, and support humanitarian missions. For countries with limited naval budgets, this kind of vessel is a smart investment because it does the work of several ships combined. The ship also symbolizes modernization and growing naval capability, showing that the region is investing in stronger maritime defense. Overall, the 2026 BRP Tarlac LD-601 destroyer is not just an upgrade, it's a transformation. It represents a move from basic transport ships to high-tech combat-ready platforms. With modern stealth features, powerful missiles, advanced radar, helicopter support, modular mission design, and long-range endurance, this vessel is built for the challenges of modern sea warfare and emergency response. Whether responding to threats, patrolling territorial waters, or helping civilians after disasters, the Tarlac is ready for action. If you're interested in naval technology, defense strategy, or modern warship evolution, the new Tarlac is definitely a ship to keep an eye on.